All right, I'm back with another video here to show off what I call the ghost build. See here, all this super ghost kamikaze attacks. Well, there's only two as far as super attacks. And to make up for the lack of an extra super ghost kamikaze attack, I have dual installed. Of course, that only really works if you're doing multiplayer or anything like that. And I have purification on, but it's... This is the sort of build that works with any race, but I figure since Super Ghost Kamikaze attack introduced in the Blue Saga, might as well go with the Majin. And as an extra attack, since there's only two super, super key attacks that have Super Ghost, I have Double Crush as an extra and maximum charge, because obviously. Why not? Thing doesn't take too long to load when you're in practice mode. All right, everything's as it should be. But I figure it's a pretty straightforward build for anyone who knows how Super Ghost works. Super Ghost build attack, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. The Super Ghost boo attack launches five ghosts that just huddle there eventually they will move in on their own and as you can see sometimes objects in the environment like this little rock right here end up causing one of the ghosts uh, it blocked one of the ghosts unfortunately so definitely if you're using something like this just be mindful of the environment you're fighting in but it's cool how once you set up the ghost you, you're free to move around however you want and eventually they'll attack on their own. Or you can send them out prematurely. Let them attack whenever you want. So it's just ultimately your choice. Where Super Ghost Kamikaze. Here's a ghost for ya. Here's a ghost for ya. Here's a ghost for ya. Yeah, kind of weird how that works. If it... Once it goes out, it'll eventually attack on its own. But... If you press the button again while it's out, Here's a ghost for ya. Here's yeah, a ghost your character for ya. will maybe send out another one, but it'll cause the first one to disappear. Also, they don't get knocked back by the ghost. Here's a ghost for ya. They just get stunned. So you can kind of use it as a way to start your combos, but I'd say that's more if your opponent is dashing in on you. Like they're just rushing at you, charging whatever kind of attack, or just charging in blindly, then you can use the ghost attack to cut, catch them off guard. Otherwise you can use this as like a sort of, a sort of setup or trap based zoning build. Or as a way to complement your, if you're more of a striker type, it could also kind of help with that. Kind of give you an edge to approach your opponents as you go in for the attack. But mastering the timing for them, if you don't send them out, uh, if you don't send them out right away, it's kind of tricky. Here's a ghost for ya. And I also have double crush since it works kind of like the super ghost boo attack. What's cool is that like when you have Super Ghost Blue attack, you can also activate Super Ghost There's Kamikaze ghost attack. Just to unleash a whole bunch of projectiles on them. There's a ghost for ya. <laughs> Here's 
see if I can find a way to get that to hit. There's a ghost for ya. There's a ghost for ya. So yeah, with good timing, and if you got a good distance uh, between you and your opponent, you can get not maybe not all ghosts and all the projectiles from Double Crush to hit, but There's a good a number of them. Yeah. Another good move to go with these attacks would also be bending, Kamehameha, just to have that sort of extra projectile to defuse the opponent, and also unfortunately ghost Super player. Ghost Kamikaze, that one ghost. It only goes so far. Go a pretty good distance, but Here's too far ghost, back, yeah. and they'll end up disappearing before they even hit the opponent. There's a ghost for you. Right. Man, does that look cool. And as well, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Finish with ghosts. Super ghost, so if you activate Super Ghost Kamikaze attack again with ghosts. while the initial ghosts are out, it'll cause all your characters to rush in at the opponent. But you might not get as much damage because odds are they will just miss. So that's always the neat thing, how you can use your abilities and it won't it won't contradict one another. In other words, if you activate Super Ghost Blue Attack, it won't cause Ghost Kamikaze to disappear, nor will it cause the ultimate version to disappear. They can all technically just stack on top of each other. Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack! Of course, setting them up all at once, especially in a one-on-one -on -one fight, is very risky. Man, getting all your projectiles to hit can do some really good damage too. So this is definitely for those who are just simply going for a ghost build, for their Majins, for whoever. And move other moves that have a specific setup to them like Bending, Kamehameha, Double Crush, or Super Destructo Disc also works well with them. A sort of... Not so straightforward, gimmicky sort of zoning build, depending on what other extra move you have to go with them. And like I said, I just have dual Ghost Kamikaze, just because there's no other uh, ultimate to go with it. But obviously, that's only gonna work if you have a partner. Yeah. So that's really all there is to it. This one is pretty straightforward, at least in my opinion. It's just a matter of understanding that you don't have to worry about each of your ghosts disappearing if you activate each of them one at a time. And zoning builds definitely work very well in team environments. So you can use this to harass your opponent from a distance. If they're beating up on your ally, send out a ghost to cover your um, cover your approach, or to hit them before they can kill your teammate. So I'd say this is definitely easy. I keep saying definitely so much. This is certainly an easy build to get into, and there's a lot of fun to be had. So with this, I'm going to start trying to get into more melee builds. Because so far the only melee build that I have, that I think I uploaded, is the grappler or Namekian grappler build. But we'll see how that goes. And you all have a good day.